Sometimes investigations come out of previous stories. You may remember the story we brought you late last year about a Casey County woman's death that was ruled a suicide. The family claimed her death was not properly investigated, and they found out it had been years since the coroner had state-required training. So we wanted to know how many other Kentucky coroners are unqualified to do their jobs. WKYT investigative reporter Miranda Combs has the answer. They are here at this Louisville hotel for training. We came to get answers. What is your reaction to seeing that some of these coroners are very out of date with their training? Well, it's, it, it's alarming. Our Department of Criminal Justice records show you haven't had training since 2005. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I don't know. You don't remember going to it? I'm talking to Wolf County Coroner Frank Porter. He's on the other side of the wall. He is one of eight coroners in the state of Kentucky that, according to records we obtained from the Department of Criminal Justice Training, have expired coroner certifications. Porter has gone the longest without getting his state certification. I don't have anything to say. My understanding was, as long as I was elected to be from the coroner, I didn't have to be. You're one of a. You're one of a dozen or so or less coroners that have not done their training out of how many counties? Do you think you're deceiving your people that voted for you by not getting your training? No comment? No comment. Okay. All right, thanks for your time. You need to get your training. We caught up with the incoming president of the Kentucky Coroners Association along with the Henry County Coroner during the association's annual conference. I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. We were the first to inform them that some of their own weren't certified to do their jobs. Do you take this personally? Absolutely, I do. Yes, I do. When I've had over a thousand hours of... Uh, of death investigating training. Yes, I do. If they don't have their training, they should not be doing post-mortem examinations. No. State law says, in part, post-mortem examinations must be done by a certified coroner. A certified coroner is a coroner who has successfully completed both the basic 40-hour training course for new coroners and the 16-hour in-service course required every year after by KRS 72.415. He should know before he ever files his papers to run for office. This is what I'm going to make, and this is what I'm going to have to do. And you came up on the list as not having your certification since 2012. Yeah, I do that. Whitley County Coroner Andy Crowley invited us in without our cameras. After about an hour, he decided to talk. What do you, what do you think when you see that? Well, I mean, it, it surprises me. But he says there's several reasons a coroner might not be up to date with the Department of Justice training. For instance, he says he goes to training a lot, but not the ones that count as certification for the state. That was echoed for several other coroners on our list. He also says there's not enough class variety and training is too far. A lot of the training is, uh, you know, for, for example, Whitley County area, uh, Lake Barkley. Um, I mean, I'm not even sure how, how long of a drive that is or, you know, uh, more head or whatever it may be. We try to offer the training strategically around the state to where it isn't a hardship on the corner to get there. Here's a map of training locations for 2014. There were 11 throughout the year. Here's the locations for 2015 with 12 trainings offered this year. They're called out to make a death investigation and they're not certified to make that death investigation then that opens an entire gambit of things that can happen uh, that are not good. None of them are good. Uh. And I caught up with a judge executive in Wolf County. He was not aware that his coroner is out of date with state training. He says he realizes that if the coroner in his county were to be sued, it would fall back on his fiscal court. He told me he'd fix the problem. There's no cost for coroner training, and the coroner does pay to get there and possibly spend the night. So some of the coroners on the list do have 
or do go to some kind of training. Right, just not that required 16-hour training. Andy Crowley, for instance, has been to extensive training in and out of state, even been instructors in some of the trainings, but it just doesn't count as that 16-hour certification. Wow, you put a lot of work into this, Miranda, and you can see a complete list of unqualified corners on our website. Just go to WKYT.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.